This might be my favorite one. You should never use this one. Oh no, that's just too messy. I love when it's so quick. Today we have a quick and fun video. I'm going to see which glue works for photo transfer. Basically, I'm going to make quick transfers with eight different type of glue. Eight glues, glues, adhesives. So today the transfers are going to be really quick. I'm not going to try to make finished art pieces or any beautiful photo transfers. It's not going to be anything fancy. Basically, it's just going to be quick and dirty. So we can see which glue works and which one made this hot mess. <laughs> yeah, so let's start now. Let's find out which one of these works for photo transfer. So first, let's print our photo with an inkjet printer. We can do this uh, transfer with a laser printer. But I'm going to use inkjet photos again because we want to do it fast. Another thing I should mention is that I'm going to use different photos to test each of the glues. I know it would probably be a good idea to use just one photo for all of them, but it would have been so boring for me. So I decided to use different photos, but I try to choose photos that are similar in contrast. So I think it's okay. And in a previous video, I already tried Elmer's glue, Mod Podge, and PVA. So we know all three of these work just fine for photo transfer. Yeah, so since we already tested Elmer's glue and Mod Podge and the PVA glue, today we're gonna test eight other type of glue. Yeah, so some of these glues I already had at home and some of them I went out and bought a, a few and I try to keep it on a budget and only get the inexpensive type of glues. So the first glue we're going to test today is Decoupage Glue by Craftsmart. And by the way, I'm going to link to all the glues I'm using today, so be sure to look below this video in the description box. This one definitely works and I'm not going to worry about all the paper left over right now uh, but I will make it look better later. The next one we're gonna test is Puzzle Glue by Masterpieces. It's clear and somewhat gooey. And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, the Mixed Media Photography Book. It's available on Amazon, so check it out soon. Now let's go back and see how the puzzle glue worked. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no, that's just too messy. It's also all gooey and hard to clean. I pretty much wish I didn't even try it. So let's quickly move on to the next one, which is E6000 Spray Adhesive. And if you like this video, it will be great if you like it and subscribe. I make these type of videos every week and you don't want to miss one. You don't want to miss all the fun. <laughs> and even though I didn't have high expectation for this one, I think it actually worked okay. Maybe not great, but I think it's because I have let it dry too much, so it's a little difficult to remove the paper. 
but it definitely has a potential. Next, uh, let's try tacky glue. Uh, this one, more than a few people asked me to try it out. So here it is. I have to say it's quite smooth and easy to spread. Okay, tacky glue looks just fine. So now in order to get a better idea of what the transfers look like so far, I'm going to cut them with a gloss varnish. Okay, so now let's flip it over and work on four other glues. This one is memory glue, I guess for scrapbooking. This one is also okay. Next, we're going to try Sobo by Delta, which is a fabric and craft glue. This will be interesting to see if fabric glue will work. I think it works great. Probably my favorite so far. Next is this uh, little glue bottle I found, Scotch Repair Glue. Not sure what you're supposed to repair with it. It mentions wood, so maybe it's like wood glue. But honestly, I'm not sure. I guess this is not the right glue for photo transfer. And finally, our last one today, Fabric Fusion. So this one, maybe it's not great, but it definitely has a potential. And again, I'm going to coat everything with gloss varnish. So, like I said in the beginning, I didn't make any final transfer pieces. This was just a way to see which glue works and obviously all of them need further work to be finalized and look decent. So the Craft Smart Decoupage looks great and was one of my favorites while the puzzle glue was a disaster. The E6000 spray glue was just okay, not so great, and the tacky glue came out really nice. The memory glue worked pretty well, but I think the sobo glue was my favorite today. Obviously the scotch repair glue didn't repair the transfer and finally the fabric fusion I guess worked okay but wouldn't be my first choice. This was quite an interesting test for me. You can tell which glue is actually going to work well without researching and trying to find out all the ingredients it's made of. But even then you really can't predict the results. You don't know if they'll work for photo transfer. And since this test was so much fun for me, I think I'll try testing more glues and see which one works for image transfer. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions or if you want me to test any specific glue. I had fun, I hope you did too. Come back and visit me again. You don't want to miss all the fun stuff we're doing here. I hope so. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And if you like this video... <laughs> wow, what a great book! How do you pronounce it? I'm not sure. I don't think that's what I wanted to say. So this was quite a... Even that, I can't say it.
just look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> so we can see which uh, glue works for <laughs> maybe another time. <laughs>